right? For, for starters, when I look at my debt, I normally always want to pay the one with the highest interest rate first. That's what I do. Because if I can kill that one, then I'll, my affordability will be higher. So that's, that's where I look at. That's how I normally start. So once you've figured out, or, you, or someone will say, I have a friend who normally says, okay, I don't go with the, with the highest interest rates one, but I go with the, with the one that takes majority of my income. So he sit down and says, if I want to buy a property for a million and I need 10,000 rand a month, that's extra uh, free cash flow on my balance sheet, or sorry, on my income statement then what do I do? So he looks into all the debts that he has, that obligations that he has and says, okay, this is, I'm paying 5,000 on this. So if I can reduce this 5,000 to say a thousand rand, then I've got excess cash because he's done, he's done his cash flow analysis and he knows if that money is out, irrespective of whatever the interest rate might be, to him he's saying, I'm paying 2,000 even if it's a 25% interest rate and I'm paying 10,000, this is a 10% interest rate. But if I pay this 10,000 off my books, it will enable me to get access to a million rand. That's how he looks at it. Mine is completely different. I look at the interest rate approach and both method makes sense. So I would say people based on your, on, again, your risk tolerance and based on your own lifestyle, personal lifestyle, you can adapt any of these two strategies and they both work very fine.